there's a lot of lifestyle factors that can contribute to male factor infertility as, as well. Number one, smoking. We know that smoking, any amount of it, decreases your sperm concentration and your motility. And we know those are the two main factors that the two most important factors of a semen analysis. When it comes to alcohol, people always ask this question in terms of what's a safe amount to drink. There's no hard answer on this, but we do know that binge drinking is not good for you. Having more than five drinks in a given night could really impact your sperm concentration and your motility. When, when you try to figure out a safe amount, I try to tell patients no more than one to two drinks in a given week if you're really trying to play it safe, whether it's a, a mixed drink or whether it's wine or a beer, try not to have more than one to two in a given week. Marijuana use, the data on it is quite conflicting. We still don't know. We do know that a lot of marijuana use can negatively impact your hormone production, again, throwing off the sperm concentration and motility. But at the same time, for a lot of people, marijuana is an aphrodisiac, so therefore they're engaging in more intercourse as a result of their marijuana, which can increase their chances of conceiving naturally. And finally, obesity. We know that obesity is not good for your overall health, let alone your fertility health. What it can do is obviously it can negatively impact your hormone production because the more obese you are, your testosterone gets converted to estrogen, estradiol in the body. And what that does is it can negatively impact the amount of testosterone in the testicles, which is also very important for sperm concentration and motility, number one. But more importantly, number two, the more obese you are, a lot of times that increases the area, the environment, there's more tissue around your scrotal area. And as a result of that, that increases your testicular temperatures, which is obviously not great because anytime you have more elevated temperatures around the testicles, it could cause damage to not just the way the sperm is produced, but it could cause DNA damage to the sperm.